Osho once famously said that a Buddha will never be understood. The only issue with that statement is, Osho didn't take into consideration that Buddhas were listening to the Buddha. So a Buddha will be understood by another person who is aware of the golden Buddha that dwells within them. And today is that day. Humanity at large is living in this illusion of a problem. That there is something wrong. That there is something that we must overcome, something that we must change. However, from the moment I met you, from the very first millionth of a second appeared in my life, I cannot find a problem. So where you have been led to believe that you shouldn't be the way you are, you shouldn't be feeling what you're feeling, you shouldn't be living what you're living, and you've been trying to improve your life incrementally by shifting the circumstances or external factors of your reality, I can see clearly that those minute shifts that the majority of the transformational space calls transformation isn't actually the answer. That somebody else's prescription for your life isn't authentically an answer for you. Just like these words will not be an answer for you. However, they will be an invitation into you being able to examine yourself lovingly in a deeper way than ever before. So what is happening? If I left you on your couch for 15 years and allowed you to continue to receive the same inputs that you've been receiving for the prior 15, then your life, your experience of yourself, the way in which you engage in your reality would not necessarily be that different. However, by virtue of the fact that we've had this global pandemic and this shift in the way that we see ourselves and the way in which we live our lives, you are now here being exposed to truth every day. And the exposure to this truth every day, and it's not my truth, has incrementally and gradually been empowering you to shift out of this false notion that there is a problem, that you are a problem, that there is something that must be overcome, something that must be figured out, something that must be resolved within you. But what we've discovered, and it's empirically measurable because we have thousands and thousands of people here every day, what we have discovered is that actually when we shift out of the illusion of a problem, when we start to actually lean into the very thing that we have deemed to be the issue, we begin to form a deeper relationship with it. To the point where one day, that same feeling will arise, that same life experience will show up, that same thought will arise, that same habit pattern and behavior will arise, and in that moment, you will no longer have a problem with it, because you will no longer see it as a problem. So I'm about to say something to you that's going to sound really strange, but I'm going to say it to you because I now believe in your capacity to arrive at the destination that you have been asking yourselves to arrive at. And that destination is freedom. Every single human being wants to experience the freedom to be themselves. That's it. Every single person wants freedom. We're all just going about it in really convoluted ways. But actually, the fastest way to freedom is to acknowledge that you are already free. You are already free. 